subscribe mwananchi digital Wafanyakazi wa afya katika jiji la New York lililoshambuliwa vikali na virusi vya corona wanafanyakazi kwa muda mrefu huku akiwa na mahitaji makubwa ya vifaa vya kujikinga na wakati maambukizi yakizidi ongezeko la hofu ya usalama wao ni mkubwa wakati wakitoa kilio hicho wakazi wa jiji hilo walikuwa kishangilia kazi ya madaktari na wauguzi ambao wamekuwa wakiwajibika kwa kuokoa maisha ya watu licha ya upungufu wa vifaa kelele za makofi na sauti za kushangilia zilisikika kutoka katika majengo marefu ya Manhattan ambako kuna amri ya watu kutotoka majumbani kuepusha na maambukizi ya virusi hivi vyo ambavyo vimeambukiza zaidi ya watu 1500 huku 1600 kati yao wakiwa wamelazwa hospitali Madaktari na wauguzi wanafanya kazi usiku na mchana kuhudumia wagonjwa wale waambukizwa na maambukizi yanayoenea kwa kasi wakiweka hatarini maisha yao katika kipindi hiki ambacho ugonjwa wa homa kali ya mapafu COVID-19 unaisumbua dunia. Katika wiki hiyo hiyo Marekani imegeuka kuwa taifa linaloongoza kwa ugonjwa huu wa dunia ikiwa na watu laki moja na elfu ishirini waliothibitika kupata maambukizi na wengine elfu mbili waliofariki. Hatari ni kubwa kiasi kwamba ni swala la muda tu kabla ya wote hatujapata maambukizi. Hakuna njia ya kuepuka kwa sababu hatari ni kwa wote. Na kama nilivyosema hasa kama hatuko hatarini kuambukizwa na wagonjwa tuko hatarini kuambukizana. The exposure is constant and is so much that it's just a matter of time before we all have it and we all get it. It's just there's no way to avoid it because it's it's constant. The exposure is constant. And like I said even if we're not being exposed through the patient so much, we are being exposed through each other. And it's a huge loss and we're all devastated um we're pretty sad because we feel like the federal government the CDC the hospital administration everybody failed us to the point where we've all got exposed um and risked our own lives um not knowing if you know going to work is going to kill us now because like i said the exposure is constant because the anxiety and the fear was palpable i mean you could go around and see everybody was so scared and we still are and and so anxious about where would these people go who what nurse is going to be the lucky one that's going to get this assignment um is there any way i can get out of it if i have a pre-existing condition nipigo kubwa Tuko sawa kwa sababu tunazani serikali ya shirikisho CDC uongozi wa hospitali na kila mtu ametuangusha kiasi cha kufikia kiwango ambacho tuko katika hatari kubwa na kuweka maisha yetu wenyewe hatarini bila kujua. Kwenda kazini ni sawa na kwenda kujua kwa sababu hatari ni kubwa. We are all getting infected. So clearly something is missing. We have failed to protect ourselves and protect each other. We have floors that are missing most of their staff already because they're sick enough to have to stay home if we had been protected and we had the proper equipment we wouldn't be getting sick and exposing each other and being symptomatic enough to be able to stay home this is out of control we've lost control completely we can't contain it anymore because we can't even raise a flag in a concern to 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 stop it to to take care of it it's it's all over the place i isolated myself so i'm staying in my attic i'm lucky enough to have an attic that's i can sleep in Subscribe, Mwananchi Digital.